Seven o'clock in the morning and the rays from the sun wakes me I'm stretching and yawning in a bed that don't belong to me Then a voice yells, good morning darling, from the bathroom Then she comes out and kisses me and to my surprise she ain't you Now I've got this dumb look on my face like what have I done? How could I be so stupid to be have laid here till the morning sun? I lost the track of time. Oh, what was on my mind? From the club went to a home. Didn't plan to stay that long. Here I am, quickly trying to put on my clothes. Searching for my car keys, trying to get on up out the door. Then she stretched her hands in front of it, said, You can't go this way. Looked at her like she was crazy. Said, woman, move out my way. Said, I got a wife at home. She said, please don't go out there. Lady, I've got to get home. She said, her husband was coming up the stairs. Sure, sure, quiet. Hurry up and get in the closet. She said, don't you make a sound or some shit is going down. I said, why don't I just go out the window? Yes, except for one thing, we on the fifth floor. Shit, think, shit, think, shit, quick, put me in the closet. And now I'm in this darkest closet trying to figure out Just how I'm gonna get my crazy ass about this house Then he walks in and yells I'm home She says, honey, I'm in the room He walks in there with a smile on his face saying, honey, I've been missing you She hops all over him and says, I've cooked and ran your bath water Telling you now this girl's so good that she deserves an Oscar Throws her in the bed and starts to snatch her clothes off I'm in the closet like, man, what the f*** is going on? You're not gonna believe it, but things get deeper as the story goes on Next thing you know, a call comes through on my cell phone I tried my best to quickly put it on But from the way he act, I could tell it was too late. He hopped up and said, there's a mystery going on and I'm gonna solve it. And I'm like, God, please don't let this man open this closet. He walks in the bathroom and looks behind the door. She says, baby, come back to bed. He says, bitch, say no more. He pulls back the shower curtain while she's biting her nails. Then he walks back to the room right now. Under the bed, then opens the dresser. He looks at the closet. I pull out my Beretta. He walks up to the closet. He close up to the closet. Now he's at the closet. Now he's open in the closet. He's staring at me like As if he was staring in the mirror She yells, honey, let me explain He says, you don't have to go no further I can clearly see what's going on Behind my back, in my bed, in my home Then I said, wait a minute, now hold on I said, mister, we can work this out She said, honey, don't lose control I tried to get him to calm down He said, oh, I should have known That you would go and do some bogus shit up in my But the Christian in me gave you the benefit of the doubt I said we need to resolve this Then he stepped to me, I'm like, whoa There's a reason I'm in this closet He says, yeah, what are you talking close? I met this girl at the Pages Club And she told me she didn't have a man Then he said, man, please, I'd kill you If you didn't have that gun in your hand And then I said, but your chick chose me He said, don't give me that Mac shit, please His phone goes off and then things get a little more interesting. He steps a little closer. I point my gun and says, I'm not the one you after. He says, some I bet you didn't know my man. Did she tell you that I was a pastor? 
I said, well, good, that's better, right? Why can we handle this Christian lie? And I started to put the gun down Till I saw her face still had a frown She started crying, saying, baby, I'm sorry Then he said, baby, not as sorry as you're gonna be I started inching out He says, no, I want you to see this I said, I gotta get out this house And I tell her, reveal my secret I'm like, what is going on inside here? Takes his phone and calls somebody up and says, Hello, baby, turn the car around. Listen, I just need for you to get right back here now. He looks at me and says, Well, since we're all coming out the closet, I'm not about to be the only one that's broken hearted. And she said, What do you mean? And he said, Just wait and see. I said, Somebody better talk to me. And then his phone ring He picks up and somebody says Sweetheart, I'm downstairs And he's like, I'll buzz you up I'm on the fifth floor, hurry, take the stairs And I'm like, who is this mystery lady That you're talking to? He says, in time you both will know The shocking truth Baby, this is something I've been wanting To get on my chest for a long, long time Then I said, nigga, I'm gonna shoot you both If you don't say what's on your mind Says I'm gonna count to four. One. He says, Mr. Wait. Two. She says, Please don't shoot three. He says, Don't shoot me. Four. She screams. Then I knock on the door. The gun's in my hand. He opens the door. I can't believe it's a man. In total shock, me and her I close my mouth and swallow spit As I'm thinking to myself, this is some deep shit Then I said, so you're gonna tell me he's the one you've been talking to? He says, yes, I says, no, he says, yes, I says, no, he says, it's the truth I yell, all of y'all ass crazy, let me up out this door Because this is way more than I bargained for And then she says, wait, I'm sure we can all fix this And then I said, I'm late, plus I ain't got a damn thing to do with this And then she said, but wouldn't you like to know just how it all began? Then I thought to myself and said, quick, you got three minutes And then it got real quiet I said, somebody start talking Then she said, my God, Rufus I've got just one question How could you do something like this? I'm so hurt That he looked at her and said Bitch, please, you've got your nerves With all your club popping Lying, saying you were shopping And now here you are in our home And you're calling me wrong She said, okay, you busted me And that much I agree You call me cheating But this is a little extreme Said you are my wife Sleeping behind my back And now I come home And you got him in the closet How extreme is that? She says, but she's a he Then he said, please, you can't judge me She says, Rufus, this is crazy Then I said, stop arguing I did not stay here To hear y'all chew each other out So get to the point Or I swear I'm out Excuse me, please, but I think I can explain what's going on in here. My name is Chuck, and I've been knowing Ruth is about a year. And then I creeping around with him, it's been a living hell. Sneaking in and out of hotels, I said, brother, spare me the details. Then Rufus said, Chuck, please, don't say nothing else. And then she screams, Rufus, you son of a bitch. And he says, Kathy, go to hell. I said, I thought your name was Mary. It's what you said at the party. Man, this is getting scary. I'm going to shoot somebody. Then Rufus started yelling and screaming, saying, Kathy, this is all your fault. She throws a pill at him. 
woman says you was craving to the only difference is you didn't get caught. Chuck scream out, we're in love. Kathy says, love my ass. Roof was sitting, getting married. Then I shoot one in the air. Then I say, not another one of you sons of bitches say a word. Cause all of this shit I'm going through is unheard. Grandma say you love. Saying this is so wrong. Call up my home. And a man picks up the phone. Dashing home, doing 85, swerving lane to lane, fire in my eyes. I've got a million thoughts going through my mind. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do and who I'm gonna do it to when I get home. How could I have been so blind? And then I look in my review. I cannot believe this. Ooh, 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 damn, here comes a policeman. He Drove right up on me, then flashed his lights. Then I pulled over without thinking twice. He hops out the car and walks over to me and says, License and registration, please. I looked up at him and said, Officer, is there something wrong? He said, No, except you were doing 60 in the 40 miles on. And then I said, Officer, let me explain, please. You see, the truth of the matter is, is that I've got an emergency. He said, No excuses. And no exceptions He flicks his cigarette And then gives me the ticket I Said have a nice day and walked away I said yeah right and drove away And then I turned my radio on And did 55 all the way home I pull up in the driveway Hop out and slam the car door Then go around the back Bust up in the house Pull back the shower door And she's screaming, what's all that for? Then I'm like, woman, I call this house And a man picked up my phone And she says, calm down, did you forget my brother Twan came home? Oh, oh And that's all I could say was oh, oh. With a stupid look on my face Said I forgot he came home today And she says, that's okay because honey, I understand She said you don't have to explain and Then I took her by the hand I kissed her and then we went to the room And then I turned some music on Apologized one more time Then went down and started getting it on And she started biting her lips Grabbing me and making noise Now we're making love and she's in my ear whispering It's all yours I said I love you And she said I love you too then a tear fell up out my eye And then I called her my sunshine And then she looked at me And said, baby, go deeper, please And that's when I started going crazy Like I was trying to give her a baby The room feel like it's spinning Cause we keep turning and turning As if we were in a whirlwind The way our toes are curling The next thing you know She started going real wild and screaming my name And then I said, baby, we must slow down Before I bust up in my brain, she said, please don't, don't stop, and I said, I caught a crap, and she said, please keep on going, I said, my leg is about to crack, then she cries out, oh my goodness, I'm about to climb back, and I say, cool, climb back, just let go of my leg, she said, you're the perfect love, I said, I can't go no further, then I sit back to cover, oh my God, oh And now I'm like, well, 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 what the f*** is this? A condom in my bed, you better start talking, bitch. Before I take a match and burn this motherfucker down. I said you better start talking and start talking right goddamn now. 
Then she said, baby, I'm so speechless. Then I said, my baby, you gon' be breathless. If you don't start talking quick, woman, I'm gon' have a fit. You don't know what you're f***ing with. Girl, you better cut the bullshit. Now it's obvious somebody has been all up in my home, in my bed. And plus, I smell cigarettes. Now I'm sniffing and looking around, suspicious like someone's here. And then I looked in her eyes, and in her eyes there was so much fear. Pull out my gun, said, is he still here? She shook her head and said, no. I'm checking behind every door. She cried out, he left right after you called. I said, what the f*** was you thinking? You thought that I wouldn't find this out. And then I said, you must be crazy, your own crack to have somebody off up in my motherfucking house. She hopped up and said, that's enough. She said, I can't take no more. And then she said, you've made your point. But now it's time to even the score. She said, I know all about last night. And where you went when you left the club. Said, that's right, nigga, I was there. With this guy in the back of the club. I said, I thought you was with your girls. She said, I thought you was with your guys. She said, you was at that bitch's house. And don't you even try to act surprised. I say, babe, she say, shut up. Don't you say a word It ain't nothing you can say That I ain't already heard Then I said, woman, don't you try to turn it all around Cause the fact still remains that someone else was in my house Then she said, you're right about that Something did go down But I don't have to turn it around Cause what goes around comes back around I'm moving a little closer to her She's tripping over the furniture She said, wait first, just let me explain I said, no need to, just give me his name And then she says, uh, uh I say, uh, what? She says, please sit down in the chair And I say, no, I'm standing up And then she cries out, I'm so scared to tell you Because of what you might do And I scream, look, girl, you better give me this man's name And I'm not playing with you She says, okay, wipes her nose And then asks me about a girl named Tina I thought to myself, said it sound familiar Then said I probably know her if I seen her Then I said, anyway girl, what the hell has that got to do with this man? She said, he know my girl Roxanne I said, who the hell is Roxanne? Did she say Roxanne's a friend of mine? Who knew this guy named Chuck? Chuck's cool with this guy named Rufus And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? Then she says, Rufus, why Kathy? We both went to high school She introduced me The policeman that stopped you Believe it or not I just started laughing Shaking my head And just kept on laughing Thinking about all the things I had been through that day Then she cries, what? Why do you have that smile upon your face? Then I laughed out, said, thinking about all the things that I've been through She wipes her nose and she sniggles and laughs out, I've been through it too Then I start laughing again and she start laughing more Then next thing you know, we both are cracking up on the floor She laughs out, I can't believe this idiot really answered my phone Now meanwhile, Tron just got out of prison and he's on his way home Then she laughs, baby, I'm sorry for all the lies and all the bullshit Then I say, girl, just wait till I tell you all the drama that I've been dealing with She laughs, I wanna hear it all Then I laughed and said, baby, first of all I got a hangover, been trapped in the closet, slept with who knows, threatened to kill a pastor. She says, what? Baby, this is no lie. He had a lover, turns out to be a gay guy. She says, damn, you've been through a lot of shit, plus I got a ticket. Meanwhile, the policeman, he turns around, just out of concern, comes back to the house. Then he pulls up in the driveway, my car's parked crooked with the lights on. Then he goes around the back way He hear the dogs barking like something's wrong He gets to the back door And discover it's been broken in He looks around, pulls his gun out Then proceeds in Meanwhile we're laughing and laughing and laughing But from his perspective he thinks somebody's crying He gets closer to the bedroom And he would swear that somebody was coughing and sighing Meanwhile we're in the bedroom laughing As I'm trying to continue to explain She yells out, Sylvester, you're killing me I said I swear that it went that way Then next thing you know he bust up in the room And said, mother 
motherfucker free And then I look back up at them and say Wait, you're that damn police Then she screamed, baby, I mean James She says everything is cool And then he yells, Gwendolyn, I got this I know you're sick and tired of this fool And then I stood up, started walking towards him Screaming, naked out my house Then he yelled, free, she screamed, please And I pulled my Miranda out She cried out to Vesta, please don't Visions of him making love Total silence, blood everywhere, and confusion on their faces as they continue to stare. Then wind starts shaking and crying, screaming, what did you do? And then the policeman looks at me and screams, see now I warned you. Then he starts pacing the floor, screaming, God, what have we done here? Then she rushed to the door, blood on her hands, screaming, there goes your whole career. Meanwhile, I'm freaking out, saying we gotta do something and gotta do something quick. Then he picks up the gun and says, I have a wife at home. I can't have no parts of this. She says, James, I can't believe you just said what you said. Cause that's not what you were saying when your ass was in my bed. Then I said, get married later. But right now we gotta use our heads. First of all, then anybody think to check if the man was alive or dead. Then he looks at her, she looks at me I look at them and we look at him Meanwhile Gwen's about to have a nervous breakdown The way she's shaking and crying And then she screamed, you bastards You've killed my brother And then I said, Gwen, wait a minute, I didn't She says, no, you killed my brother She said, he just got out of prison He's been through a lot He was talking about changing his life and everything And to come home and get shot And I said, baby, it wasn't my fault This man had a gun on me And besides, how was I to know That you was getting down with this crooked-ass police And he says, now, wait a minute I say, no, you wait a minute And then I say, man, this is my wife We had a life until you butted up in it She cried out, Sylvester, now hold on Even though he was in our home Let's not forget the fact That you was out there creeping in another man's home <coughs> Twan starts coughing <coughs> And she says, Twan, oh my God, baby brother, are you okay? And he looks up at her and says, I'm not gonna die, at least not today And then he asks, what happened? Says, why did I get shot? So that's the what is this policeman doing here? And I said, go on, tell him, cop He says, son, we gotta get you to a hospital And take a look at that wound Juan says, no, I'm okay, it's just my shoulder All I need is a bathroom Now five minutes has gone by And they're telling Juan everything that happened Juan say, shit, man, I would have been better off in prison And now somebody's singing at the door And I'm like, oh no, here we go again Thinking out loud to myself, saying When is this shit gonna end? Then Gwendolyn looks at me and says, baby, you got that now That's why and I said because I'm not opening up another motherfucking door And the cop says when I get it Then looks at me and say man or the house my ass Then I say I'll get it But whoever it is I'm about to put their ass on blast And then the policeman grabbed me I snatched away and got my gun up off the floor Then Tron says now that's what I'm talking about So that's the point that shit tore the door Then he snatches the policeman's gun and says Officer arrest me later I count to three Tron open the door Rolls the nosy neighbor You With a spatula In her head Like that's gonna do Something against them guns It's Rosie the nosy Policeman gets in his car and gets right on the phone Backing up, shaking his head, saying, let me get my crazy ass home 
And his wife picks up and says, Darling, where have you been? I've been worried about you. And he says, Police business, honey, I can't wait to tell you what I've been going through. She says, Are you okay? Yes. Do you need anything? No. Well, I baked you a pie,、mm. your favorite cherry. Then he said, I'll be there soon. Sorry I kept you hanging. Then she said, Honey, don't worry about it, just take your time. I still got some cleaning. Now, meanwhile, Mrs. Rosie's back at Wynn's house telling it all. She said, I knew it was something about that policeman. I started to cut loose my dog. Then Gwendolyn looks at her and laughs and says, Miss Rosie, you are nuts. Then I say, All I wanted to know is what was you gonna do with that spatula? And then we all laughed. Twan says she's a G, no doubt. Now let's head right back on over to the policeman's house. He pulls up in the garage. She didn't expect for him to come that soon. She rushed to the door, kissed him on the cheek, says, I was in the restroom. Then he said, What you say that for? And then she says, I don't know. Then he stepped back, looked at her, and says, What you all jittery for? Then she says, Sweetheart, maybe it's that time of the month. Then he says, Maybe. Maybe that time of the month. And then she said, You know what I mean. He said, I know what came out your mouth. He said, You said maybe. Then she says, Baby. He walks in the house. Then she tries to lead him upstairs. But he goes straight to the kitchen. She says, Hon, I bought you some pears. And then he said, I'ma heat this chicken. And she turns around, thinking to herself, with this weird look on her face. Then he screams, Woman, what's wrong with you? Why you walking back and forth, pacing? Before she answers, she's thinking to herself, What am I to say? Because the truth of the matter is, is that she just slept with another man today. And he's steady calling her name. Bridget, I know you hear me, but she can't turn around because the truth on her face, he will see it. Then he screams, Bridget, yeah, yeah. look at me. Bridget turns around and then he says, What you got up your sleeve? She's scared out of her mind, stuttering and shaking and still talking about some pain. He's got a funny feeling. Something just don't seem right. He's looking at her while she's banging up. Then he says, with all my might, woman, I swear I'ma shoot somebody if you've been doing wrong. But little does he know that somebody is still right there in his home. He looks around the kitchen. And says something is really weird. Then she says, Why do you say that? He says, Cause you keep trying to get me out of here. He said, Ever since I've been in this house, your face has went from white to red. And remember when I first walked through the door, you act like you had seen a ghost from the dead. Then he says, Girl, if you're hiding something, I'm gonna be so mad. Then he hears something falling. He says, What the fuck was that? She said, It sounds like it came from upstairs. Sounds like the plumbing. He said, Woman, that sound did not come from upstairs. I'll be damned if you're not up to something. Said, Now the sound that I just heard it came from this kitchen. And then he looks over by the stove while she's easing over by the dishes. And then he walks over to the refrigerator and pushes it back. And then he looks over. Looks like she's about to have a heart attack. Then he notices the pie on the counter. One slice is missing. Now the story's getting scary. 'Cause he comes to realize that Bridget is allergic to cherries. Then he slowly looks up at her, and now her face is red as hell. He's breathing real hard, moving closer. She says, "Huh, you don't look so well." And then he says, "Move." She says, "No." He says, "Move." She says, "No." Bitch, move. She moves. He looks at the cabinet. He walks to the cabinet. Get close to the cabinet. Now he's opening the cabinet. Now pause the movie 'cause what I'm about to say to y'all is so damn twisted. Not only is there a man in this cabinet, but the man is a midget. Now the midget jumps out of the cabinet and stumps the policeman on his toe. The policeman's hopping around on one leg, screaming, "Son of a bitch, why he runs under the table?" He yells, "Freeze!" Then dives over the table and lands on the midget. 
While the midget is kicking real fast, screaming out, Bridget, Bridget. She yells, darling, don't hurt him. He says, Bridget, get your ass back. Then he continues to rough up the midget as if the midget was under attack. Then Bridget runs up to a room, goes in a purse and pull a number out. The police puts him on the table and yells, man, what the hell you doing in my house? He wipes cherry pie crust off his mouth and says, man, I was paid not to tell you. Then a police pulls his gun out and yells, trespassing, man, I've got the right to shoot you. The midget says, Mr. The Man that paid me to do this would kill me if I tell. He points the gun in his face. The midget says, God, I think I just shit it on myself. Now it's Sylvester's house, so I got a patch on his shoulder playing cards, getting along. They're laughing and talking when Sylvester says, Gwendolyn, baby, get the phone. Then she walks away from the table, picks it up and says, hello. There's a lady on the other line panicking, crying and talking all off the wall. She says, wait, slow down, tell me, who am I talking to? My name is Bridget and I found your number in my husband's pocket. I had to call you. Two minutes later, Gwendolyn's shaking her head, saying, girl, I understand. Sylvester says, who is it, baby? She hangs up and gives him the address. Now, meanwhile, back at the policeman's house, the midget is crying his ass off while he's lying through his teeth, about to get his little ass toe off. Then Bridget busts in the kitchen with a double barrel, saying, James, I can't let you do this. And then he looks at her and says, what? you shoot me for this fucking midget. She says, I love him. The midget says, no, Bridget. And then James points his gun, says, we all gonna die up in this kitchen. Now Bridget and James are staring each other down, slowly back and apart. Then the midget takes his inhaler out, says, this is not good for my heart. Then James says, Bridget, don't make me do this, baby, put the gun down. That's when the best in twine busts up in the house and says, you put the gun down. While Tron and Sylvester are sniffing around Trying to figure out what's that smell As they turn and look at each other like What the Now the midget begins to wake up Cause he fainted from all the madness See three guns pointed around the room He stands and says, I have nothing to do with this Then I said, hold up, you look familiar Do I know you from somewhere? And he said, man, I get around You might know my face from here, there Then James says, take a good look Cause you might not ever see his face again Twan says, man, what the hell is that smell? Somebody done broke wind And then Bridget starts crying while she's looking around I said, I'm sure we can work this out But first, let's put the guns down Then Bridget cries, James first Then he said, no, you go Then I said, just do it at the same time And they both looked at me and said, no And then Twan says, man, let me shoot them all And I said, we can't do that And besides, man, you just got out of prison And I'll be damned if you're going back and then Bridget says, I will drop the gun if he promises not to hurt big man. Then James says, that's what you call him? That's his name? <laughs> big man. Then Tron says, man, is that your name? He says, yeah, we left hot mess. Then I say, man, why they call you that? And he says, because I'm blessed. Then I start shaking my head, put the gun down, saying this is too much for me. Said, I can't take no more than hurt at all. This shit about to drive me crazy. And then I said, man, I should have never took my ass to the Pages Club. Then big man says, Pages, I've been there. That's probably where you know me from. Then James says, hey, hey, Chuck and Rufus, let's get back to the matter at hand. And Sylvester says, cool, but first there's just this one thing I've got to understand. James says, what? Then Sylvester says, how do you know Chuck and Rufus? Police says, what you talking about, man? You said Chuck and Rufus. Then Bridget says, hon, my stomach. Then Twan says, who the hell is Chuck and Rufus? Pointed my gun and said, talk to me, James. I said, Rufus, Chuck. Bridget said, I'm about to throw up. James says, man, my wife is sick. Twan says, man, don't believe that shit. I said, how did your wife get sick? He said, she's three months pregnant. And then we all said, oh, shit. Then Bridget says, honey. There's something I have to tell you And then James says, no, baby You don't have to say a word right now Then she says, but James He says, rest, Bridget While I get these fools up out my house Pointed the gun at us and yells, leave Said my wife is sick Then Twan the 
Tell him the same motherfucker, you crazy. Watch where you point that shit. The Bridget says, James, no. Sylvester gets a phone call. Squiddling asking him, is everything okay? And he says, hell no. He hangs up. Then big man screams, look man, I'm just a stripper. I say a stripper, Twan say a midget. He said, I strip at this club called Dixie's. And that is where I met Bridget. Bridget says, James. He says, not now. She says, hon, please let me explain. Then Twan whispers in my ear and says, Sylvester, let me do this nigga, James. Big man overhears us and take his and hell out again. I said, I'm not killing no cop. James moving closer to them with the gun. Bridget yelling, stop, stop, stop. And then she says, I admit it, I did it, I paid him. Then James cut her off and says, baby, you don't have to say nothing. She says, no, James, I think you need to hear this. See, I've been covering for you a long time. Never said what was on my mind. I even followed you a few times. And when I saw you with her, act like I was blind. And James says, wait a minute, Bridget. Just what are you trying to tell me? Not only am I sleeping with big man, but he's my baby's daddy. <sighs> Ooh, the midget thinks again. What Twan and Sylvester is tripping. The midget's the baby. Now let's jump back to Kathy's house They're getting up off the floor Then Rufus says, Chuck, are you okay? Then Kathy closes the door Then Chuck said, Rufus, what the hell just happened? Then Rufus said, I'll tell you She just almost got a shot Right here in this room Then Kathy says, you got nerve Almost got you shot When you're sneaking in and out of hotels with him, ain't no telling what I got. Chuck says, and what do you mean by that? Kathy looks at him and says, figure it out. He says, ooh, Rufus, she don't know me. I will cut this bitch right now. Whoa. Come on and try it, motherfucking, Fuck I swear to God. Home. Just try it. Let me at Come on, bitch. Jane. Just try it, motherfucking, Rufus, let I me swear go. to God. Try it. Come on. Try bitch. it. Come on. Calm the fuck down. Rufus says, Rufus says, Chuck, we'll talk about it later. Then Kathy says, this shit is sad. Then Rufus says, well, it is what it is. Kathy, we might as well talk about it and try to get some understanding. She said, understand this, I doubt it. They talking loud while the phone's ringing, ringing, stuttering, ringing, ringing. But no one answers, answers. They just ignores it. Ignores Rufus scream, I said, calm down. You're both acting like damn fools. A wife, pastor, and a deacon. Now how would that look in the news? Kathy says, oh, wife and a pastor looks good on the news. Then looks at Chuck and says, but a pastor and a deacon, Rufus, you don't want me to answer you. And then Chuck yells, bitch, who do you think you are? I've got a right to love whoever I please. Then Kathy says, if you don't get your nail ass out my house, cause ho, this whoever belongs to me. And then Rufus says, nobody's going nowhere. Until we figure this out, we'll all just be right here. And then Kathy and Chuck won't stop staring at each other. Kathy snurves her nose up at him. Chuck rolls his eyes at her. And then the phone rings again. But this time Kathy walks over and answers it. Says hello, Long's residence. Kathy, this is Gwendolyn, can you talk? Kathy says, I'm in the middle of something, not now. Gwendolyn says, girl, this can't wait. Please get somewhere quick to yourself right now. Then Kathy says, hurry up, I'm listening, shoot. Gwen says, okay, I'll make it quick, girl. Remember the policeman you introduced me to? She says, yeah, what about him? Anyway, girl, shit was tight until this morning. Everything went wrong. Chuck looks at Rufus and says, what the hell? He says, I don't know. She says, damn it, I'm on the phone. She says, go ahead, Gwen. Gwen says, well, it all started at this club that I was at. Last night, mm -hmm. girl, me and James sitting in back in VIP. Everything was so right. Mm -hmm. Go on. Well, me and James sitting there laughing and drinking. Next thing you know, here comes a vest up in there with some old crusty wig wearing asshole. Kathy looks at the wig on the floor. She says, Girl, what's the name of that club? Queen say page. She flops down on the bed like, What the fuck? Then Kathy says, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn says, Girl, I'm not finished. Then she starts telling her about the policeman's wife, Bridget, who was getting down with this midget. Then Kathy says, Gwendolyn, girl, listen. But Gwendolyn's going on and on. Steady trying to get her attention. 
watching, but the queen steady going on and on and on. Then Rufus screams, Kathy, are we gonna finish this conversation or what? Then Kathy says, Rufus, I'm on the phone. Then Rufus says, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Then Kathy says, Gwendolyn, shut up, girl, damn. Just listen to me. You know that crusty wig, when hole you was talking about? Gwen says, uh huh. Kathy says, well. Gwen says, well, what? Kathy says, girl. Gwen says, Kathy. Kathy says, Gwen. I'm sorry, girl. That hole was me. Sylvester and Twan gets in the car. Sylvester says, man, first of all, straighten your hat now. Man, I'm about to go holler at somebody, and I'ma need you to watch my back. Then Twan says, man, you ain't even got to worry about me. Bro, law, I'm straight. Sylvester says, yeah, you straight eyed with your hothead ass nigga, just like when you caught that case. Twan says, oh, here we go, you bringing that shit up. That wasn't shit but a misdemeanor. Sylvester says, misdemeanor, my ass, you did three years. If that was because of Roxanne and that bitch Tina. Man, your sister asked me about a team. Twan say when I see her, I'm a killer What did Gwen ask you? She asked me if I knew her I said she sound familiar Sylvester says, hold up, man, what you doing? And then Twan says, man, what you mean? Then Sylvester says, man, is that a cigarette? Twan says, man, no, this some weed Sylvester pulled over saying, oh, hell no Nigga, what the f*** you forget where we are? Twan say one for the road Sylvester say you crazier than a fish with titties If you think I'ma let you smoke that shit up in my car Now throw that shit out Twan looks at Sylvester like he ain't trying to hit that Sylvester says, throw that shit out. Twan looks around and says, shit, and throws it out. They pull off and Sylvester says, now this Roxanne and Tina, man, what's that all about? Now why they talk about that, let's head on over to Rosie, the nosy neighbor's house. She's peeking out a window saying, there's something going on over there with Bernadine and Ted. Then her husband turns over and says, woman, what's wrong with you? Bring your old nosy ass back to bed. She says, now Randolph, I don't like that tone you taking with me. He says, oh, shut up, woman, you always in folk, been get them folk, they privacy. And Rosie says, I can look out my goddamn window whenever I want. Randolph say, yeah, well, what you looking at? What you looking at? Hmm. Now Rosie and Randolph are arguing, screaming at each other loud as they can. Rosie says, Randolph, ain't nobody studying you, so go on back to sleep with your old grumpy ass. Then Randolph said, shut your ass up, woman. Shit, folk gotta get some sleep around here. Then Rosie said, sleep, shit. Mr. Can't get it up, your tired ass been asleep for the last five years. Now watch your mouth, woman, go to hell, Randolph. Don't you don't tell me what to Can't do. Nobody I'm a grown-ass woman, I could do whatever yeah. the hell I want to yeah. do. We'll do it then, I'ma do it then. Do it then, I'ma do it then. Go on, look, I'm on look. And I hope a pigeon fly by here and shit on your face. <gasps> oh Lord, forgive me for what I just said. This woman got if it do, going on. If it do, then I'm gonna wipe the shit on you. Now meanwhile, between while back to Sylvester and Twan. They're driving alone when Twan says so man, where we going? Sylvester says, man, don't worry about that. Just be on the lookout and Twan. Your hat, oh my bad, give me a light Now when we pull up, you keep the car and drive And whatever you do, keep on watching Man, like I said before, don't trip, bruh, law, go handle your business Well, I'm about to see if I can get this bitch to talk to me We made a deal and she owe me some money Man, I feel you, G, so call me if you need me Man, everything should go smooth Sylvester, don't make me have to come up in there and smack me a couple of... It's 30 minutes later, time goes by, 45 minutes later, time goes by, and now one hour later. A car pulls up to a restaurant, the door opens and someone gets out. First thing you see is some heels and a dress, black shades on, scarf around her head and mouth. Who could it be? Why are they here? Up the stairs they're going Through the door, down the aisle Like she's walking in slow motion Checking out the place As she walks, looking real cool Peeping out through her glasses Before she sits in the booth She goes in her purse, pull a cigarette out Puts it in her mouth, he lights it Then she blows smoke, pauses for a minute and says What the hell happened? First of all, woman, keep your voice down. I ain't trying to get loud up in here. Second of all, how was I supposed to know that your husband was a fucking queer? <clears throat> the waitress walks by. She says, I'll be with y'all in a minute. 
Now we made a deal. The plan was for me to come home with you. Girl, I did my part. So don't you go asking me what the hell happened when I didn't want to do this shit from the start. And then she said, yeah, right. You didn't want to do this shit, but your ass got paid. And then she said, Sylvester, I said, hold up, bitch, are you crazy? Don't be saying my name. She said, whatever. How come you didn't tell me you was married to Gwen? First of all, between the fake wigs and fake names, how the hell I'm supposed to know that Gwen is your friend, bitch? Shut up, here comes the waitress again. Sorry I kept y'all waiting. Childless place is busy It's always crowded about this time Can I start y'all off with some to drink? I said I'll just have a coffee With two sugars light on the cream And she said vodka straight up Hell, shit I need a drink Then the waitress said Girl I heard that I'll be right back with your drinks And then she walks away I look back at her and says She look familiar to me And she says what? I say nothing It's just a thought Anyway, girl, I thought the plan was for me to be in that house with you and get caught. She says it was. I said, what? How? She said, I changed my mind. I blew smoke, then I put my cigar out. Said, I'm out this motherfucker because you wasting my time. She says, wait, don't go. Well, then, goddamn it, talk to me. She says, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Try me. She blows her nose and says, Well, it all started one night when I was sitting in the living room. And sounds like I could hear somebody in the bedroom moaning and groaning. And I knew it wasn't me. So my curiosity led me to believe that he was cheating on me. Well, how come you just didn't ask him? Give him the benefit of the doubt. Because a woman knows, a woman just knows when some shit is foul. And then I said, calm down. Here comes the waitress. Ooh, like I said, it's busy around this time. But thank y'all for being patient. Said, can I get y'all anything else? I said, no. That'll be all. Then Kathy says, Sylvester, he says, hold on, cause he's getting another phone call. It's Twan saying everything alright. Then Sylvester says, we working it out. And Twan says, well, call me if you need me, dog. You know I'm holding you down. And I said, no doubt. I hang up, then Kathy says, well, anyway, let me get back to telling you what went wrong. Where was I? Oh yeah, the day I heard him arguing on the phone Now the story goes on and on And she telling him everything that happened While Twan's outside in the car Ready your own, bobbing his head, just rapping Sylvester said, girl, are you saying he was having sex with another man on the phone? She says, yes, I say, I can't talk about this She says, why? I say, cause this shit is getting uncomfortable Now back to Twan, he turns the radio down Cause he gets a call He says, yeah, what up? And the voice says, yo, T, I got that information on Tina He says, talk to me, dog. What a word out on the street is the bitch stop stopped horn doing hair out of mama's basement and got a job haha <laughs> <laughs> it's right the day that bitch stopped horn is the day they stop selling dogs <laughs> you feel me joe Word. where the bitch work at a candy store not a job that she got supposed to be legit i heard your girl off on some old waitress shit here yeah, waitress where Hold on, I'm waiting on my people to hit me. Roxanne, auntie, on the place. You shitting me. Where this place at? He says, hold up, I'm getting a phone call. Now, meanwhile, Sylvester's asking Kathy, well, why you still love him? Then Kathy says, cause when I saw Chuck, I just couldn't lose him to him. And then the waitress comes again, but this time she brings the bill. He slides her 50, says, keep the change. She says, damn, thanks. She had y'all keep it real. And meanwhile, outside in the car, Twan's getting impatient. His homie comes back to the phone. Twan says, do I look like Invoke? He says, why? He says, nigga, cause the way you got me holding on. I got your dog. I got where the bitch work, live, information and all. Yeah, nigga, I'm listening. Well, nigga, first of all, you gotta kick me down cause I went to a lot of crazy shit to find her. Yeah, whatever, I got you. Moved in with some nigga in the Jeffrey Manors. Round the corner, it's a place called Shay Shay's Diner. Nigga, you forget I just did three years. I need the exact address to where this place is. My bad, you right, kid. 9501, that's right off Halstead. Pause it right there. Now shoot back into the restaurant real quick. Sylvester looks up at the waitress and says, excuse me, but it seems like I know ya. And at the same time, Twan's in the car going, man, this address sounds familiar. Meanwhile, in the restaurant, the waitress blows a bubble and says, where you know me from? Twan's homie gives him the name of the place again. He looks up at the sign and says, what the fuck? And meanwhile, I'm back in the restaurant. Kathy's nudging me under the table going, Sylvester. And Sylvester looks at the name tag on her shirt and notice that shit says, Tina. Then, the waitress starts backing up with this confused look on her face. While Twan's outside on the phone telling his homie, man, I'm right outside of the fucking place. Then Sylvester says, hold up. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Then she starts screaming. And Roxanne's name real loud This bitch come running from the back with a skillet Then Tina breaks a beer bottle on the table 
and said, nigga, I will cut you with this glass. Kathy walks by me going out the door saying, not trying to get loud and hear my ass. Can't stop walking around, so that's the real slow saying. We take Tybo classes, and Twan runs up in a place and says, I will kill both of y'all knucklehead ass. Well, if it ain't Laverne and Shirley, Tina says, hey, Twan. Twan says, bitch, don't hate Twan me. Sylvester says, calm down, T. He says, fuck that, I just did three years for these hoes. Roxanne said, who you calling a hoe? He says, you bitch, she lost control and said, motherfucker, I kill your ass. Stop. What? Wait Come a minute. With a skillet, damn talk about right. it. I will some motherfucking body. Man. Get you better tell Stop. Fuck that. Wait a minute. Nigga, think about three it. Three years. Three years. This time will be worse. Now come here. Sylvester takes Twan to the side. Tina tells Roxanne to calm down. Then Sylvester says to Twan, Look, now I know you're mad, but before you go around here making threats, nigga, let's not forget the fact that you're out, but you're still on house arrest. Then Twan says, Cool, man, I just wanna ask him some questions about what happened. Sylvester said, I feel you, but calm your ass down, or nigga, you going back in. Twan says, I got you. House arrest. I got you, I got you. T. Chill. Then Twan walks over to them and says, How you doing, ladies? Tina, Roxanne, please excuse me. I mean, where's my manners? Cause, uh, that was very rude of me, Twan. No, I admit the way I came up in here, man, it was kind of wild. But that ain't shit compared to the way things gon' go. On. These bitches don't tell me what went down. Let's the fuck slow your roll, calm down, nigga, stop this shit. Come on, Sylvester, so fuck that. All because of these bitches, my ass got sent up on a three Come on, bitch. What you gon' do, nigga, kill these bitches? Yeah. And then what? Then what? Life, nigga. They lock your ass up and throw away the key. Then Twan starts thinking about it while Tina and Roxanne's watching him. And I say, man, forget about it. He says, no. I say, well, let me talk to them. Say, they sick ass man, you can't trust them. Nigga, it ain't about me trusting them. It's about you trusting me right now. <sighs> Nigga, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy? You forgot I did five years in a pen myself. Now I'm telling you, I'm not going back for you, these bitches, and no motherfucking body else. So let me talk to him. I got this. Sylvester takes out his gun and shows it to the ladies, walks up to him and says, Now ladies, he takes the cigarette out of Roxanne's ear and says, Ladies, 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 ladies. He walks over to the counter and sits down. He puts the gun on the counter, goes into his pocket and pulls a cigarette light out. And then he lights the cigarette, blows smoke and then says, Now ladies, it's very obvious. We have a problem here A lot of questions unanswered Let's answer them so we can get out of here mm. Safe that he is He flicks ashes and says, okay Which one of y'all gonna start talking first? Then Tina start crying saying it was supposed to be a simple operation And Roxanne said if we delivered muscle man here said it would be a vacation Tron says, man, I'll show you a vacation Tron. Send y'all ass straight to the motherfucking moon Tron, what did I tell you? Ladies, continue. Then Roxanne said on the way to Atlanta, everything was going smooth. Up until Twan starts smoking trees and acting like a fool. And that's real. He got the radio loud, bumping Mary Jane, just swerving and shit. Did you tell him to stop? Yeah, I told him to stop, but he just kept yelling out, talking about I'm Rick James, bitch. Sylvester looks at Twan. Twan says, man, I was drunk. Sylvester said, drunk. You was drunk. Twan said, man, I don't know. I was just trying to have a little fun. With a whole lot of heat in the trunk. Man, I'm disgusted. Nigga, no wonder your ass got busted. Then Twan says, man, whose side are you on anyway? There's still Sylvester said, well, let's see. Reckless endangerment. Loud music with drugs in the trunk. Nigga, yeah. Twan said, man, this is some bullshit. Roxanne says, can I finish? Please. Sylvester says, she says, well, to make a long story short. Tina says, Roxanne. Girl, let me explain. See, Twan was kind of acting wild and calling us all out of our names. Then Roxanne starts cursing and screaming. Meanwhile, I'm in the backseat. And all I know is I look behind me. I say, oh shit, here comes the police. Roxanne said, next thing you know, Twan started speeding, yelling out, they ain't 
gon' stop us. Hina says a few minutes later, here come these squad cars and a fucking helicopter. Sylvester said, did he stop then? Tina says, no. Roxanne says, but luckily that raggedy ass car he was driving stopped on us. Or where we be, who knows? Then Roxanne says, anyway, here we are, the three fucking stooges laid out in the dirt. Now they putting us in the back of the car, trying yelling out whatever y'all do, don't say a fucking word. And now we at the police station. They got us separated off up in these rooms. Yelling all in our ears, saying your man Tron said these drugs belong to you And I'm like, what the fuck? They say, sister, your light is looking kind of dim I looked up at Tina and said, girl, I'm not going down Not for him, so there you have it, Tron I gave you up, it was me Tina, she protected you, I say protected me for what? Tina said, cause at the time I was pregnant by you, T I see. Sylvester looks up at Twan and says, Congratulations, man. It looks like you done went and had yourself a little tea. Twan says, No, no, no. <laughs> This girl is tripping, G. Tina says, Tripping. Roxanne says, <sighs> Then Twan says, Girl, with your lying ass, tell me, how do you know G. that that baby belonged to me? Then out of nowhere, Tina's eyes start blinking real fast and she says to Twan, How do I know, Twan? Sylvester so say, are you okay? How do I know? Then Roxanne says, girl, I told you his ass was gonna deny this shit when he saw you. Let's go. Sylvester so says, wait a minute. Twan says, bye. Sylvester so says, Twan, she had see you. They both paused, turned around. Tina looked at Twan and says, in court, motherfucker wouldn't wanna be a. Sylvester so says, Twan, ladies, please, wait a minute. Don't go yet. Twan say they need to learn some respect. I say Twan, he says holla. Roxanne say nigga, she gon' holla at that child support check. Sylvester say ain't nobody going nowhere. Now y'all resolved it so we could put this shit in the past. Roxanne say cool, we'll talk to you, but we ain't got shit to say to his old Shrek looking ass. Twan say man, who this fever blister looking bitch think she talking to? T. She says you motherfucker. I say damn baby, calm down. Roxanne says what? What you gon' do? Tina starts to blink her eye again, but this time even faster than before. And then she cries out real. Loud and says I can't take this shit no more. This is the axe rock saying what's wrong with your girl's eye. It's like it keep flinching. She said a year ago a pimp hit her in her eye and ever since then she's got this nervous condition. Then Twan develops a soft spot and says Sylvester, come here let me holler. Twan pulls him to the side and says man what do you think? He says what you mean? He says am I that baby's father? Then Sylvester says I don't know it's hard to tell especially when you was in the pen. But there's one thing I do believe in that is is that the bitch didn't turn you in. Then Twan stop walking around saying, man, I don't know, a nigga feeling kind of strange. Then Sylvester says, Gwen told me, dog, that you was thinking about making a change. Roxanne, yell out, I gotta lock this place up, and y'all two got the go. Sylvester say, what time do this place close? She says, 80 points is gone and says, well, act like it's a quarter to four. Then he says, talk to the girl, Twan, it might be what you need. Twan says, a family man, me, man, I'm too deep in these streets. Sylvester said, man, that's exactly my point, this shit will settle you down you need to get up off of that bullshit and go holler at that girl right now roxanne looking crazy i'm like go twan say sylvester man i'm like go then roxanne moves closer to tina twan give me five and then says fuck it yo then he steps to tina and says tina you want to work this out then roxanne tongue kiss tina dead in her mouth and says to twan i'm fucking her now Yeah, bro, law, that's what I'm talking about. Shoot him. Man will let me. Y'all lucky I like that kind of shit. Or I'll be in a shot both of y'all ass. Come on, Twan, let's get the fuck up out of here. What, what you just gonna let him get away with this shit? What? Kissing? Nigga, come on. Bring your ass. Shit. Fuck that. I'ma go buy me a gun. And I'ma come back here and set this motherfucker off. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> Believe that. Give me my motherfucking coat. Man, 
I can't believe these bitches all the shit I done went through. And Tina's ass man kissing that bitch. Ooh, nigga, calm down. That's just what your ass get. Then I tell you not to go fuck up with these damn tricks. Oh, oh, but you the one told me to holler at her. Nigga, all I was trying to do is make it better. You know, stop the violence. But who would ever thought the bitch was dyking? Oh, I'm glad to know that you having a good time and think this shit is funny. Bullshit to the side, nigga. You better start talking to me about how to get this money. Juan is still cursing and talking loud. Call. So let's say it's when, man, calm your voice down. Hello, static and Gwendolyn. Phone is static and baby, we getting a bad connection. The phone's still static and then Gwen says, Can you hear me now? No. Can you hear me now? Babe. Can you hear me now? Okay, I got you. Good. Nah. Sylvester, where you at? I'm waiting on you. Baby, I'm on my way home to you. Movies or no? Maybe something came up and I got something else to do. Well, Myrna called. What did mama want? Same old thing, just talking about Dale. What daddy done done this time? Drinking and cursing people out, she put his ass in jail. Daddy be tripping, he think he big pimping. Well, Myrna say he touch her, he gon' be limping. You know your people's on the west side be tripping. I'll see you in a minute. Boy, hurry up, I'm cooking. Meanwhile at the church, Rufus is getting his praise on With the Reverend Mosley, James Evans and the Peace Within Choir Oh, they dancing, oh, they shouting So many people being broken You gotta see the rest for yourself The doors to the church is open Here you will Jesus gon' work it out Work it out Jesus gon' work it out God will Jesus gon' work it out Work it out Jesus gon' work it out Thank you Don't get the offering Goes to his office and answers his phone. Put his hand over the speaker, told his assistant, I need to be alone. He watches her as she leaves the room. The church is open. Pimp Lucius, come on down. She closed the door. And then he says, Chuck, then Chuck says, Rufus. And then they talk at the same time. Then Rufus says, Chuck, you go first. Rufus, I've been trying to get in touch with you Blowing up your phone Then Rufus says I had a lot of things to do Around the church, Chuck, tell me what's wrong What's wrong, what's wrong I'll tell you what's wrong Rufus, I'm missing you Chuck, calm down I miss you too How come you haven't called me? All because I've been busy Oh, that is a lie, Chuck, I'm telling the truth Bullshit, Rufus, that is not the real excuse It's her Chuck, wait a minute, it's her, ain't it? Chuck, listen to me. Now you know when I know that Kathy is my wife. I mean, you knew that I had another life. Yeah, that's true, sure I knew. And we vowed to keep it between us two. All of the hotels and things we do. How we told each other I love you. Chuck. And you told me I was your dream come true. Chuck. And now you're throwing your wife in my face. Wasn't saying that shit when I was fucking Chuck. you. Not on the phone. Kathy walks in to let Rufus know she's back. Rufus paused for a minute and then says, Chuck, I'll call you back. He hangs up and then Kathy says, baby, who were you talking to? He didn't know he pushed speakerphone, Chuck cries out, Rufus, I need you. Kathy starts snapping, then Chuck starts snapping, then Rufus tries to calm him down. Kathy choking the phone and throwing it around. Then Rufus says, Kathy, go. She says, oh, you're putting me out your office. All the shit we just went through, Rufus. Kathy, go back in church, I got this. Kathy leaves out, Rufus gets right back on the phone and says, Chuck. Let me come see it, Chuck screams no Then Rufus says we gotta talk Chuck says Rufus don't let me go 
Telling me you don't want to pimp no more. Yeah. He's saying to me, he's saying, you want to stop pimping all these hoes. Amen. And turn your life around. <laughs> Just turn it around, Lucius. Now, if you want it, yeah. God will do it for you. Yeah. Yes, he will. Yeah. Come on, choir, help me sing it. Come on. You can do it, pimp. Just stop pimping. Stop pimping. Lucius. You can do it. You can it, do it. Lucius. Just cut it loose. Let it go. You can do it. Pimp Lucius. I believe. Oh, I believe. Now y'all just come on stage and give Pimp Lucius a hand as he leaves the stage. Come on, show him some of that gothic godly love. Young Bishop Craig says, Pimp Lucius, are you seriously about to stop pimping and give your life to God? Pimp Lucius stopped dead in his tracks and looked at young Bishop Craig and said, Shh. 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 Shh.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. My old ass in that closet. Now quit cussing. Now just shut your ass up. Listen, Rosie. You say you wanna know. And then I got in that closet and it all started to happen. The pastor came in. He was on the phone talking to a man. What's wrong with being on the phone talking to a man? Well, it all depends on what you saying to that man. Now to make a long story short, he said. Yes, I miss you. And I couldn't believe my ears. When he said, I miss you too. And then his wife comes in, starts pitching a bitch. I normally don't like being in folk business, but Randolph, this is some juicy shit. What else? Anyway, they arguing back and forth. Pastor Ruth start trying to convince this man to let him come see him. But obviously he said no. What else? Now calm down, damn it. Wait a minute, let me think. Oh, oh. He asked the pastor to stay in his life, but then the pastor said no. God must be working on him. Then what? Pastor say, Chuck, let's meet at our spot. The holiday in, and then that's when, when what? Uh, took another shot of that gin. Ooh, and all this is getting good. But what make you say he got the package stuff when Chuck let him know, know what? That he's in the hospital. The package. Didn't I tell you? He got the package. Huh. Randolph, you was right. Next time you listen to me, what I'm trying to tell you. Oh ass, my God, where's my phone book? Huh. What do you need Lord a phone book for? Now don't go Lord tell everybody around town, Rosie. What's your big mouth ass? Shit. Should have never told us shit. What? <laughs> Sylvester goes home cause he had to change into something more comfortable like another suit. Then he gets back in the car and Twan looks at him and says, Man, where's my net? Sylvester says, Where's your what? Twan says, My suit. Sylvester says, Nigga, what make you think you could fit a suit like this? Man, I'm slim. Shit, nigga, you be looking like Arnold Swartz, a nigga in my shit. Just stick to the jogging suits and Tim's and lead the suits to me. Share yeah, whatever you say, bro, law. Twan, listen. Cause what we about to go, I'm gonna need your full undivided attention. I'm listening. Sylvester starts reminding Twan of his past in situations like this when he lost his head. And then he looked at Twan and said, Now when we get there, it'll be a whole lot of fine bitches in there with drinks in their glass and their hands in the air. But don't get caught up, just keep focusing on me. Then we'll go downstairs, it'll be a hallway with a couple of pit bulls and armed security up the ass. Yeah, this on some old movie shit. Nigga, this ain't TV, you fuck this up and our ass is grass. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. We'll make sure you do. Now, there'll be a room. We'll go in it. It'll be about six or seven gentlemen there. Then they'll search and take my gun. Say nothing, just sit down in the chair. Man, wouldn't it be better if I stand? No, because they don't like it when you stand. And Twan, whatever you do, don't stare. How you doing, Sylvester? What up, Joey? Don't say my name. Who's your new friend? I'm not a friend, I'm his br brother law. He's my brother law. Brother law, is he? Well, he smells like a copper to me. A what? Me too, boss. Man. T. Ass grass. That ring any kind of bells to you? Now, Joy, the only reason I'm here is to discuss business with you. Yeah, yeah, well, I ain't discussing no business, especially with Mr. 
LL Fool J sitting here. Who? I don't like him. T. Joey. The best I'm not about to sit here and take this shit from the blob father. Now watch your mouth, you fucking moolie. Now, Joey, that's enough. Yeah, you're right. Fellas, escort these gentlemen the fuck up out of right, here. Let's go. Now, wait a minute. Joey, how long have you known me? Obviously not long enough. Get him out of here. Wait. Well, how long have you known my father? Six years protecting each other in jail. <laughs> But you're nothing like Odell. Huge young guys. <laughs> you fucking kill me, fellas. All right, all right. Try and wait outside for a minute. Sylvester, I'm not about to leave you up in here with... I said wait outside for a minute. Remember, I got this, nigga. I be listening from the outside. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Mama said knock you out. Fuck out of here. What, you was running around with hotheads now? Joey, I think you need to lay off of the pasta. <laughs> It's getting to your attitude. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's make it quick. What do we got here? Thursday, 12 o'clock, midnight, a train comes in from Indiana. Yeah, so what about it? Well, here's the deal. While Sylvester's talking, Twan sits outside and falls to sleep. Yeah, well, what kind of money are we talking here? Joy, I'm telling you, you could own a whole pasta factory. <laughs> G-Boss, imagine that. Your own pot. <clears throat> Sorry. Now all you have to do is... You shitting me? I'm telling you, this shit is real. Hold on. Jesus, fellas. It's just a phone. I got a phone call. Hold on. It's Gwendolyn on the phone saying, Sylvester, what's wrong? You left out and didn't even eat. While Twan's in the hallway, me mugging and sizing up the security. Sylvester says, can't talk now. Put the food in the refrigerator. I'll get to it later. Joey says, hurry it up. He hangs up and asks for a pen and paper. Twan turns the chair around and sits down, puts his hand up and says, asshole. Security looks at Twan like he gonna shoot him. Twan yells out, I'm Russell. Security looks at Twan like it sounds tempting, but He has a taste. Sylvester's telling Joy if everything goes smooth, this is what we'll make. And now Joy's checking out a piece of paper. Sylvester check his watch, then looks up at his goon. Security outside laughing at Twan, 'cause it looks like he's about to lose. Then Joy looks at Sylvester and says, "What is this a joke?" He pulls a gun out and says, "Yes, but I'm the only one laughing. Nigga, don't get your ass smoked." Twan's straining and looking at his watch 'cause he knows his time is up. He breaks the table, takes the gun and points. Sylvester says guns on the floor. Then Twan says guns on the floor. Then Sylvester says safe, open it up. Twan says shut them punk ass dogs up. Sylvester says get on the floor. Joy, don't make me have to ask you again. Open up the motherfucking safe. Joy says forget about it. Twan says I'm about to shoot me a motherfucker today. Joy, go start getting up off the floor. Sylvester says Joy, don't make me do this. And then the strangest thing happens. They start moving in on them. Sylvester, your man's gonna be all right. Yeah, Joey, he'll be all right. Fuck is wrong with you? Man, I had a motherfucking dream that all these mother yeah, more like a nightmare. <laughs> Puffing stuff, I'll show you a nightmare. Tron, we did good. Let's go. What are you, a wise guy? I'm just breaking your balls. Yeah, he's just breaking your balls. <laughs> Joey, Thursday night. Sylvester, tell your lovely wife Gwendolyn I said hello. <laughs> This guy. Hello, Saints, you reached Odell and Myrna. Leave your name and number. We'll get back to you. And oh, yeah, God bless. Randolph, will you shut the hell up? Myrna, 
This is Rosie. Call me back. I gotta tell you something about the past. Oh, big mouth ass woman. I shall have told your ass that shit. Randolph, shut up. And now the rumor. Hello, Kathy. Gwendolyn, how you doing, girl? Have you heard anything about this package? What package, girl? Tell me what you're talking about. Who's this roof? Is your husband the package? Overheard that he got the package. Where you hear that from? I ain't trying to say no names, but I heard through the great Yeah, that's right, the package, Myrna. I can't believe he got the package, Myrna. Rosie, are you sure about this? Yep. Well, tell me who told you this. I told her. Ass. Randolph, get off the damn line. Don't you tell me to get off the line. Just get off the line. Speak on it. Sylvester, hey baby, what's good? We gotta talk, baby, let me call you back in ten minutes No, Sylvester, we gotta talk right now Okay, okay, what's going on? Have you heard about this package? Now, Gwendolyn, baby, I know what you're thinking That wasn't a drug deal, that was just I'm not talking about that kind of package I'm talking about the pastor, the pastor Now listen to me, what? Listen to me, listen to me Sylvester, this is Kathy, I'm trying to get in touch with you When you get a chance, call me back it's very important. Here's my new number. Gwen, baby, listen, just calm down. I'm on my way. Hello? Hello, Sylvester? It's Kathy, what the hell is going on? And what's up with this room? I'm hearing about some fucking package. Now, now just calm down. I'm trying to figure it out myself. But I haven't talked to Ruth. Yeah, yeah, well, you better call me as soon as you hear something else. Chicago Police Department. Hello, this is Gwendolyn for Sergeant James. Hold on. James, you got a Gwendolyn online too. Hello, James. When? Yesterday you said we were through. Yeah, we are. But I think there is something that I ought to tell you. Yeah, what is that? I got a friend named Kathy who slept with Sylvester. Now Kathy got a husband. He's a pastor. Slept with a guy named Chuck. What the fuck? Yeah, what up, Twan? Sylvester, I heard on the radio about this motherfucking pastor and talking about he got the package. I know. Man, I will bust a cat. Calm your ass down, nigga. This is a pastor we talking about. And besides, nigga, you ain't even got no gun. Now call me back. Dixies. I said Dixies. This is Bridget. And I would like to speak to Big Man. Just hold on, honey. Hell is wrong with her. Big Man. Big Man. Telephone. Well, who is it? Some pussy. Hello, big man. Bridget, is that you? Yes. And I've got something to tell you. What? Well, it's hard to explain. Bridget, talk to me. It's hard to explain. What? Yeah, Bishop Craig, I tell a hoe like this. I don't need you, bitch. I let the welfare feed you. You understand what I'm saying? Hold on, pimp. Got a phone call. Hello? 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 Hey, this bitch. Who went and where got what? The Papa Package. The Papa Package. Get on the line, 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 the